Hello there guys, uh, welcome to another video by Matty432 uh, or Tweedu, depending on which uh, channel you are watching it on or uh, where you've been linked to it from. Um going to show you today, um, I get oh, sort of, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a series on, uh, depending on how well this video goes down, I might do a series on uh, Visual Basic uh, or else uh, programming, um, one and the same. Uh, I've had, basically I've had a lot of people asking me how I made my uh, little Tweedu launcher. Uh, and yeah, I haven't really answered it for months. I've never made a video on it, or whatever. So I thought I'd I'd show everyone sort of that hasn't used it before Visual Basic and sort of maybe get a few people into sort of a very base level code uh, programming rather. Um, I'm quite lucky actually. I started using Visual Basic quite a few months ago, and I am now doing a computing course at my college, uh, which is also using Visual Basic. So uh, that's that's very good. Um, Moving on, uh, if you look in the description, you will find a download to uh, Visual Studio, basically a zip file. Um, if you do, if you haven't got that, or if you can't look at the description or something, if you go to tweedu.co.nr, uh, you'll find some lovely links to uh, help you. <coughs> Please excuse me uh, to help you on there. Um, so yeah, go ahead and download and install the program. Once you've done that, you will get Microsoft Video Studio 2010. Let's open up and start a new project. Please excuse me, I'm having some tea there. Need tea to uh, keep me refueled and going. Um, okay, so uh, this is the sort of main panel. Uh, I think I'm going to go through the sort of very basics of this program uh, in this video. And if it is liked, if uh, if you guys thumbs it up, so uh, do that. I will uh, bring out a subsequent series and uh, see what we can do. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go up to File and then New Project. Um, and this is where you uh, create. Well, this is where you start your project from, basically. Uh, you want to click Windows Forms Application. Uh, there is a bunch of other ones on there, but uh, you do not need to know about those. It's just Windows Forms Application, the default one. And as you can see here, you've got Name. Uh, so basically, name it what you want to name it. Uh, I'm going to be original and call it Test, which I can't spell. There we go. <laughs> that was retarded. Uh, and, you know, solution name changes to the same. Uh, again, you don't need to worry about that. Uh, but note the uh, location of it. Let's go into your documents and then Visual Studio 2010 and then projects. Uh, and yes, you want to make sure create a directory is ticked for that. Uh, moving on, let's click OK for that. And you'll load up the uh, sort of main form here. Uh, this is actually the design view uh, for your uh, for your program. <coughs> Excuse me, no more tea there. Um, so yeah, as I said, this is the design view for your program. Uh, if you go ahead and come over to the Solution Explorer, which is this little box just here, uh, it goes ahead and says Form 1. This is your main form. Uh, if you right-click on that, you'll get View Code. So let's just open that up. And uh, it's not very interesting at the minute, but this is where you're going to put um, all the code for your program, basically. This is where, you're gonna, uh, this is where the magic's going to happen. Uh, so yeah. Let's just uh, hop on back to uh, Designer. Uh, I'll just show you sort of what's going on here. Uh, at the top, you've got various menus and items. You don't really need to know much about this, except for this little sort of play button here, uh, which is Start Debugging. And if you click that, you can actually uh, view what your program has currently done in real time. Now, <laughs> obviously, at the minute, it's done uh, pretty much nothing, but uh, this is very useful for uh, working out where the where the errors are in your program and uh, all the rest of it that goes with it. Check it's going top notch. Uh, if you look on the left, you get Toolbox, uh, and in here you've got a selection of various things which uh, uh, can be used, can be, can be basically dragged and dropped, or clicked and clicked, uh, clicked and clicked, yeah, anyway, uh, to sort of implement various uh, things. I mean, you know, you've got like a button, or a text box, or a label, or uh, there, there's, there's a, a wide range of things that you can uh, actually use in this. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the button because I don't want that yet. Um, now the sort of code here is actually uh, it, it, Visual Basic divides it into uh, subroutines. Now if we go into here, if we double click on Form One, that will take us to the code view. And as you can see, it's it's actually put in a, a private sub. That's a private subroutine, um, and it's called Form One Load. This basically this will happen whenever Form One loads. Um, so uh, yeah, well. As soon as the program starts up, whatever code you put in here will uh, will run. And as you just saw, if I double click it, it uh, that that sort of takes it to me. So if I wanted to put in a button, and I'm just going to 
uh, change the text on that button. I don't know, button one's not really a very informative, is it? So if we go down here to, if we keep it selected, go down here to properties, and you'll notice the option for text. Now if we double click on that and call it, um, I don't know, display text. <coughs> Excuse me, I've, I've actually got cold right now. This is probably not the best time to do a video, but uh, uh, so yeah, you know, you see now that the uh, the text changes on the button. Now if we double click on the button, you'll see that you've got button one click. Uh, so shockingly, this, the, everything you put inside of here happens when button one is clicked. Um, so yeah, it, it's fairly straightforward, really. Uh, it's, it's not too bad at all. Um, I'm just going to actually no, I'll leave it there. I won't delete it. But uh, yeah, okay. So let's have a think. What can we do? Uh, let's just let's let's create a, uh, a text box that talks to us. Where's that? Uh, where's text box? So I scroll down. I find text box, and I drag it over there to create my text box. Um, now initially this will do it as one line because by default text boxes are single line. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is really going there, isn't it? <coughs> so, uh, what you want to do is click on this little little arrow tab here, and you want to make sure the multi line is checked. And as you can see, you got more than one lines now. More than one lines, more than one line, same thing. Anyway, uh, so I'm just going to drag that up to the top and pop that on beneath it. And I'm actually going to resize my form just about there, just to uh, keep it nice. Uh, I, I like my forms to be uh, very concise. Uh, fit, should we say? Um, so I'm uh, I'm going to click on the text box and I'm going to change the uh, font that is displayed in the text box. And if we go over here to properties again, uh, you'll see you'll find font. Uh, and if you click on the um, I don't know what what is that? That's not properties, is it? That that's the anyway. If you basically you can see it's uh, Microsoft Sans and the size and whatever. Click on the little box on the right, and you get the sort of standard uh, text selector here, uh, so I'm going to put it to bold and size 16 yeah, might as well, why not uh, so yeah, that's now changed all the text that's in that text box sorry, all the text that will be in that text box um, to uh, that font uh, what can we do, okay, let's uh, let's double click on the, the button again and you'll see that we've gone back to the subroutine uh, of button one click now in here, uh, I'm going to type in text box one and you see it comes down here, so if we go down to it and uh, highlight it and then click dot or full stop and then uh, type in text and you can see it highlights again so I'm just going to press space and what that is, that that is now referring to text box 1 and it's referring to the text in text box 1 text box 1 is in fact here, Okay, if you click on here you see on the uh, top of the properties tab you've got the name of it, text box 1 uh, just like if you click on the button, you've got here button one. So uh, this refers to text box one, and then sorry, and text box one, and then uh, there's a full stop, and then the text that's within text box one. Um, so yes, what I um, you want to you want to put some text in here first. So uh, if uh, actually if we just delete T, and then uh, as you can see here, it uh, it gets or sets the text. Actually, I, I did hope it would uh, say more than that, but apparently not. Uh, so yes, we're going to text box one dot, dot text is what we had. We're now going to put open brackets and quotation marks and what we're going to put hello low. This is terrible. Be original. Hello world. Um, as you can see, um, I don't know quite what that's going on about. Property must access a value. It is plank. Anyway, um, property access must a property or its value. Text box one dot text is equal, is equal to hello world. Yeah, that's right. Equal to ah crap. Right, sorry, I've been doing too much uh, too much of the other shit recently. Um, okay, forget what I said about the brackets. Basically, that, that's quite embarrassing. Really, I should I should really know that. Um, so yeah, what what we're gonna do? <laughs> let's just forget that and start again. Okay, forget the uh, the last two. I'm actually down on T. Must just have some more. Ah, much better. Right, <clears throat> let's try again. Uh, so yeah, 
as I said, we, we're referring to text box one, the text within text box one, and we're going to set it equal to quotation marks, hello world, and then end quotation marks. Uh, it will display whatever is in the quotation marks. Um, if you just typed it without hello world, uh, as you can see, it tries to find um, other variables that are within the uh, program. Uh, that are declared by those names. Um, so, if you wanted to display just a rich text, you just want to stick it in quotation marks, and uh, it will it will go. Uh, so, let's click on the uh, start debugging. Form will load up. Click on display text, and you get hello world. Um, not particularly interesting, but uh, it's it's a good place to start. Um, I don't really know what else I can show you. Um, let's okay. Let's put another button in here. Let's put in a uh, button. So we're going to put it in here. We're going to rename it to um, I don't know display two, and double click on that of course. Now here we're going to type in again text box one dot text equal to having g a nice. Day. Okay, random, but I'm running low on thoughts. At well, not really that late, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, so now, as you can see, we got hello world, and then it will change that to having a nice day. Um, what I was sort of trying to show is that uh, basically, w this will replace it. It won't um, sort of I'm going to stick it on the end or to the beginning or whatever it will replace it um, it will stick it in the uh, RAM cache that is storing that and uh, basically it gets replaced and that is uh, a fairly sort of important principle to remember uh, when doing programming um, yeah I mean uh, I'm actually gonna leave it there because I did say I was gonna try and keep it short uh, and it's actually gone on for like 12 and a half minutes so um, it wasn't really that informative but uh, I, I sort of I wanted to go over the, v the very basics of, of uh, Visual Basic, I guess. Um, uh, so yeah, if uh, if it is uh, something that would interest you, uh, please leave us a comment and give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, uh, if you do, and it receives enough, I will uh, make a series in the future and uh, show you some uh, more advanced things. I'll just show you uh, if you haven't already got it. Uh, my modding program is somewhere here. Uh, which admittedly isn't really that advanced, it's just something to sort of mess with in my uh, spare time. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of code for that, there's all sort of uh, downloading and whatever else that goes with it. Um, as you can see, there is oh crap, not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, there is a lot of forms that go with that, M multiple forms. Uh, there goes my phone. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, do as I said, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you in another video soon.